This little device is a laser cavity detector. Uh, now there are basically three kinds of cavities. There's the flossing cavities, and those are the ones that occur between the teeth, and usually they show up on your dental x-rays. Uh, second, there's uh, recession cavities, and those are cavities that show up on the softer root portion of your teeth when the gums have receded. And usually those you can see visually when you look in the mouth. But the third kind are difficult to detect, and these are uh, cavities in the grooves and fissures of your back teeth. And so what happens in those back teeth is the, uh, <clears throat> the enamel forms over the teeth towards the center, and often uh, it doesn't form and bridge all the way across in the pits and grooves of the teeth, so you have little defects in there. And those defects can decay. And the problem is uh, they're usually just pinpoint and they're very difficult to determine uh, whether they go through into the inside of the tooth or not, or whether they're just uh, a little uh, cavitation in the enamel. Well, this device here uses a laser to actually measure the density of the little pinpoint areas in the tooth and will tell whether it actually perforates into the softer inside tooth or not. And if it does, um, then these areas can be uh, cleaned out using a micro technology and with, uh, with very small tiny fillings, this can be filled in. Um, and so the advantage of this is that uh, uh, because this doesn't involve any of the really strong part, the cusps of the tooth, which is the strength of the, of the tooth, uh, it doesn't uh, involve these at all. Because it, but if you leave these and you don't realize that there's a perforation there, they will all join together, undermine the uh, strength of the enamel here, and it'll cave in eventually, and you'll wind up with something like this. And so this whole inside of the tooth is filled, and uh, because of the lack of uh, strength here, there's cracks in the tooth. This is eventually going to uh, run into a crown. And so the thing I like about the uh, uh, this cavity detector and being able to find the fillings that are this small, um, they can be uh, easily filled. This tooth will maintain its strength, and it likely we'll never have to have a crown or any kind of, uh, of uh, that kind of major work on it. So it's a win-win situation. Uh, it's a good service for my patients and uh, that's why I have it here. <laughs>